Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. The rich history of Atlanta Athletic Club, the home club for the great Bobby Jones, showcases an iconic setting for the 67th edition of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. The second oldest major in women's golf as 156 of the world's best players battle it out to etch their name in history at the third major of the LPGA Tour season. And with that, we say hello. I'm Anna Whiteley coming to you from Atlanta, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, she is fresh off a win last week. Nelly Corda has got to be a favorite coming into this week's major. She's become just the only two-time winner on the LPGA this season, thanks to her win last week at the Maya Classic. That's coming along with five top three finishes and 10 starts, and she's taken over the top spot in the race to the CME Globe standings. And Nelly caught up with the media earlier today. I try to approach every tournament the same. Um, you know, a lot of people get wrapped up in it's major week and they put so much pressure and emphasis on it being major week instead of just enjoying the week. And I'm still trying to figure that out. You know, um, I've, I missed a cut at the U.S. Open two years in a row now and just trying to enjoy the moment and just to have fun and approach it like every other week, I think um, is a new mindset I'm going to try to rely on I guess <laughs> just having structure honestly I'm ever since I was young I had a lot of structure growing up and sometimes when you're just out there by yourself you're like oh you show up to the golf course you're like oh what am I going to do today you know you kind of think of it you're like oh maybe I'll hit balls for a certain amount of hours and then I'll go play nine holes but with my dad he usually sets out a plan for me and I follow it and you, you just feel a lot more comfortable I'm sure you plan on winning lots of majors. Uh, when you win the first one, do you think the emotion will be more joy or more relief? Um, I, I'm guessing joy. I would hope joy. Um, not really relief. I wouldn't say relief. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, anyone can win here. So it's definitely something on my bucket list in a sense as a professional golfer, but um, it would be a lot of joy. It certainly would. Well, this is also the last week for the women to qualify for the Olympics. You've got Nelly Corder, Danielle Kang and Lexi Thompson all primed to make the team. But the real intrigue really comes down to that final spot. You've got Jessica Corder currently there, but Ali Ewing, Jennifer Cupcho and Austin Ernst all hot on her heels, looking for a big move this week. But Jessica not focused on the Olympics right now. She's just trying to learn the course here in Atlanta. But I don't like going into majors knowing the venues, um, apart from a a where we go every year. Um, forward practice has not been something that um, I've done well with, so I just like coming in fresh and kind of being surprised. Obviously, playing the week before yesterday, we took it a little easy knowing that today was an 18-hole pro-am, and then we still have tomorrow. I think you just feel the magnitude of it, you know? I mean, um, you just know what's happened on these golf courses, and um, I, I, I have to say, I haven't seen this one on TV. This is a complete surprise for me. I, I don't know much about this venue, but, um, just the magnitude, even driving in how we're treated and everything, it, it has, it has a major feel to it. So a big week for Jessica. And meanwhile, three time KPMG champion in B Park looking for her fourth title here. Looking at her season so far, she started off with a bang, winning the Kia Classic, tied for second at the Lotte Championship. And how about seven top tens in those nine starts overall? So impressive stuff from Inby Park there. And here's what she said before her pursuit of a fourth title. You know, the course is you know, in, in a really, really good shape. Um, it's um, Bermuda greens and um, greens are big. So um, it's a little bit sloppy and big greens. Um, I think the course is pretty wet right now with you know, all the rain that we have. And um, I only play the back nine. So um, back nine was probably a little long, long because it was wet, but I'm, I'm sure they're going to you know, move the tees around and make it pretty fair. And um, just a lot of water hazards. You just got to um, shape your shots around the pin and uh, you just got to avoid the water. A lot of bunkers. Um, just the greens are, you know, Bermuda greens. So it's just a little um, different. I mean, I've, you know, played well on the Bermuda greens before as well. So um, 
it's good speed of Bermuda greens and, you know, greens have some characters with, you know, slopes and, you know, big greens, um, you know, bunkers are a lot of bunkers, but they're in really, really good shape. Um, good amount of sand. So yeah, like I said, I'm mean, enjoying the golf course. Um, I just really hope that, you know, it dries out. So it plays, you know, way, you know, where it's supposed to play. So, I mean, I think that's probably, you know, wishing, you know, we're in Georgia, it's, um, thunderstorming a lot here. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, I get to see the course a bit more and, you know, study it a little bit more and, um, yeah, do all my homework before I start. What is that mental challenge? I think there's got to be a lot of homework for a place like this where mm-hmm. the, the weather could change. It's a course we don't go to a lot. What is that homework that you do? Well, I just think, you know, getting used to the golf course and um, just um, getting really used to your eyes. Um, you know, the shots that you have to shape around, you just really got to, um, you know, know the golf course, you know, which side of the green we need to attack and, you know, which side of the pin do we need to be, you know, for this pin or that pin. Um, I think, you know, the part threes are really strong on this golf course long and, you know, most of them have hazards um, on the part threes. So um, you have to play well on the part threes. I think part three is definitely going to be the big key for this week. You know, I think, you know, these days we just have a lot of variety of winners um, instead of, you know, one person winning or five or six, you know, for the year. So um, it definitely, I think it's, you know, a little less percentage to win a golf tournament than, you know, probably 10, 20 years ago. So it is tougher. I mean, the competition is very strong. You know, we play, you know, some, you know, some golf courses we play almost every year for like 10 years and, you know, you know, scores are getting better and better and it's lower, getting lower and lower, which means that, you know, the competition is getting stronger. So, um, I definitely think it's, I don't, I don't know, like by how far it is, um, harder, but I feel like I'm playing, you know, better than my last year, better than the before, but, um, obviously not the results are showing just like that. So I just think, you know, I think the variety of the players and the competition is just getting stronger and stronger. You know, when I usually look at the golf course and for the first time or second time, I kind of think that, you know, this golf course really suits me. And definitely, you know, Westchester, when I saw it, I thought I really like um, Westchester and a couple of golf courses in Rochester. I really like, you know, those two weeks I won. Mm-hmm. I mean, usually the golf courses I like is narrow fairways and long roughs and fast greens. So, um, you know, the course, you know, when I go to the course and I see long roughs, I'm like, yes, you know, I like this golf (laughs) course and fast and sloppy greens. That's what I like. But, you know, when I come to the golf course, it's really wide and there's no rough and it's really long. It's usually tougher for me. So Mm. I think that's kind of, um, you know, my golf course perspective. And I mean, this golf course is really half and half. I mean, the fairways is wide and we don't have any rough here but you know greens definitely have the characteristics and this golf course has a potential you know to be you know playing very very tough um you know because even though it is wide fairways you know going into the second shot it's you know very tough and around the greens there have they have a lot of characters so i you know i just gotta i think see and wait wait and see because it's like i said half and half i don't know how it's gonna play yeah (laughs) So Inby Park looking to make history this week and join just the one other player to have won this championship four times, and that is the great Mickey Wright. But that was back in sort of the late 50s, early 60s. Annika Sorenstam as well, a three-time champion, the only other winner alongside Inby to win in three consecutive years. That was through 2003 to 2005. And Siri Park as well, she broke through in 1998 for her first major win at this championship, and she inspired an entire generation. So Inby looking to make history this week. Well, we have got a lot coming your way here on Golf This Week. On Thursday, it all kicks off with the European Tour at 6.30 a.m. Eastern at the BMW International Open. Opening round here in Atlanta in the LPGA is 11 a.m. That continues over to the Travelers' Championship at 3 p.m. Eastern. And the Champions Tour is in action at the Bridgestone Senior Players. First round coverage on Golf at 7 p.m. Eastern.